The death of our phasmids is always hard. We get into a routine of watching the phasmids daily, either when we miss their enclosures or changing their leaves, so that when they die, we are left with a hole in our routine. But fortunately, with this brand new YouTube series, you will be instructed on how to preserve the beauty of your stick insects in the safety of your own home. When this knowledge is paired with your creativity, you will be able to create work that almost mirrors living insects exactly. In this first episode, we will learn how to pin and preserve a male Extatosoma tiaritum in a basic pose. For the materials, you will need some methylated spirits, a small paintbrush, some large quilting pins, a piece of styrofoam big enough to fit the stick insect you want to preserve, and of course, your deceased male Extatosoma tiaritum. For best results, pin your insects when they are freshly deceased before the body begins to naturally decay and change colour. If you are unable to pin them during the first 24 hours of them perishing, place the stick insect into a plastic bag and then put them into the freezer. This enables the body to remain fresh until you have time to pin and preserve. If you are working with a frozen specimen, make sure they have defrosted thoroughly before trying to move any limbs, otherwise they are prone to snap off. An abdomen that is soft and squishy to the touch is a perfectly thawed out insect that is ready to be preserved. Start by carefully uncurling all the limbs roughly into position. Then, add one pin on both sides of the head. It's important to remember that no pins should be pierced into the actual insect. The pins are to be placed around the specimen, not in. Two more pins are then added to either side of the metathorax, and two more on either side of the lower abdomen. These first few pins will keep the insect sturdy for when you begin the more tedious work with the limbs. After the body is pinned into position, we can then move on to the hind legs. Once the leg is stretched out, Place a pin on either side of where the femur and tibia join. Once you are satisfied with the position, proceed to repeat this step with the other hind leg. For a sturdier position, cross the pins over the limbs rather than underneath. Now we can move on to the middle legs. Cross two pins over the femur and tibia joint, just like we did to the hind legs. Repeat this step for the remaining limbs. If the tarsi and tarsal claws are not keeping their position by themselves, you can also cross two pins over the tarsal segments. The last thing to put into position are the antennae. The antennae are the most fragile part of the body, so take extra precaution when pinning this part of the body. You are now finished the pinning process and can move on to the preserving process.
Using the methylated spirits and the small paintbrush, gently paint a layer of methylated spirits over the entire stick insect. This step is to further ensure that the invertebrate does not begin to decay and to maintain its natural coloration. Once finished painting, find a dry place to put the specimen so that it can dry out. Once the stick insect has been pinned for at least a week, you can then safely remove all of the pins. At the end, your stick insect should remain in the pinned position no matter how you handle it. You can then glue your preserved male Ecstatosoma tiaritum into a shadow box. I use SAS Bond Superglue, but I'm sure other brands will work just as well. 